Coach, I guess, how's the transition been now that you've been here a couple couple months, I guess? Well, the transition's been great. You know, um, South Bend you know, really has embraced me. Um, obviously, the coaching staff, the players, you know, so now I got to do what I came here to do, which is to, you know, how the running backs play at a championship level. Um, and then just speaking of the running backs, I guess, what's kind of surprised you or impressed you early in spring practice? Well, I mean, just these guys, I haven't been surprised by it. I was, it's been a welcome situation as far as these guys studying on their own. Um, just the intellect of the guys, their attention to detail, um, their hunger to be, you know, the best running back group in the nation. You know, and that's one of our goals as we go out here every day. Um, staying stagnant, uh, being average is not acceptable at this school. Um, it's not acceptable from the running backs that I coach. So these guys have embraced that, and it's been um, some really positive things happening out there. And then early enrollee, J.D. Price, um, I guess a lot of people were high on him coming in. I guess what are you kind of seeing from him so far? I'm very high on him. I mean, I remember, you know, when talking with J.D. Uh, maybe a little bit before spring break, really challenged him as far as continuing to gain weight, um, continuing just to embrace the smaller details of playing football. You know, I always remind him probably every couple of times he go out there, I say, hey, this major college football, man. Just reminding him, you ain't high school no more. This is just for real. You know, and, and he's really, he came back after spring break. He had gained weight. Um, I've been really impressed with his strength, his burst, um, his just demeanor. He's tougher than what his body may look like. And he's up to close to 195 pounds. Now. So uh, after the first football school that we did, I told all the coaches, I said, oh, this guy's, he's legit. You know, so again, to go along with the other guys we have, um, it's been um, a, a something that's up, that I've been pretty excited about. And then the group as a whole, how have they kind of fit into the pass game so far? They fit in real good. You know, I mean, we got a bunch of guys who got multiple um, skill sets, um, ability to pick up the blitz, obviously run with velocity and, and um, attention to detail. Um, really like how the guys out on the perimeter catching the ball. Um, Audric, you know, is a guy who you wouldn't look at on the surface. As a guy who has um, great foot fire and attention to detail and bursting the routes and getting in and out of breaks really good, but he does. Um, same thing with JD, just trying to get him under control with that. And obviously, we know what Chris Tyree brings to the table, and um, you know, and Logan Diggs too. So just excited to have a well rounded group that's competitive and supportive of each other. And then you spent time with a lot of experienced offensive coordinators. I guess what's kind of Breeze's leadership style and how's he come up to you? Shoot, man, guys, at the end of the day, you want all the coaches to be experts at what they do. You know, and one thing is very clear to me is that uh, Tommy Reese knows quarterback play at a very high level and knows a system that he wants to see here and how we can thrive. The thing that I've been, you know, impressed with as well is just how he continues to, I mean, he's continuing to grow in his position. You know, he's open to ideas. I know I send him some things like, hey, check this out or check that out. You know, and shoot, he said, hey, let's do it. Let's put it out there. You know, so, you know, as any coach, you want to continue to grow. You never got all the answers. You know, I know I don't. You know, I've, I've learned a whole lot of things there, too. But Coach Reese, man, that guy's that's, that's a good dude. I like him.